Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBird143. In this tutorial, I will show how to configure remote desktop connection in Windows Server 2003. With remote desktop for administrators and users, they can remotely manage Microsoft Windows 2000 based server and Windows Server 2003 based servers from any terminal services client system. Let's come for the setup process. Here I am creating new users and bringing them into one group to assign permissions at a time for multiple users. To create users, come to start, administrative tools, active directory, users and computers. Here expand your domain and come to users, right click on user new select user enter the user details Here I am selecting user must change password at next login. Next, finish. And again, I will create one more user. Next. For this user, I'm selecting user cannot change password and password never expires. And after creating users, let's bring them into the one group. Further right click on users, create group. And please select group scope as global and group type as security. Okay. And Come to test group, come to members, add, come to advanced, find now, here you can find your user, select both the users, ok, apply, ok, now open user, come to member of, and here you can find it belongs to test group okay and after creating users and group minimize this right click on my computer come to properties come to remote tab and here in remote desktop option please select allow users to connect remotely to this computer here it is showing remote sessions. Some local icons might not have a password. OK. And please select remote users. And here administrator already has access. So to create access for the users, click on Add. Advanced. Find Now. And here it is showing users. So click on Object Types. Select Groups okay now find now it will show all the groups and users so in this i'm selecting test group that i have created okay okay and after that come to computer name here please remember the full computer name this will help you in connecting the remote desktop connection process apply ok now come to the client system here I am using Windows 7 as my client system to open remote desktop connection come to start all programs accessories and 
here you can find remote desktop connection otherwise just press windows r on your keyboard and type ms tsc which is a shortcut for the remote desktop connection okay and here it is showing the your server ip address 192.168.0.103 otherwise you can use the server name also connect and here it is showing the windows security dialog box please select yes and it will connect to the service at the top you can find the your server ip address and now it is asking for the username and password i've created user one okay and here it is showing that you are required to change your password at first login because during the user creation i have selected user change the password at next login so that's why it is showing the login message okay now it is asking for the new password enter the new password after that click on ok your password has been changed ok and here it is showing the local policy of this system does not permit you to log on interactively and if you use the user to also you will get the same logon message so to resolve this click on ok and come to server So to resolve this problem, make sure that adding users to the remote desktop group requires that you are logged on through administrator account. And also make sure that the remote desktop users group has sufficient permissions to go on through terminal services. To do this, follow these steps. Come to start, run, and here, please type secpyl.msc okay now it will open the local security settings expand local policies and here please select user rights assignment in the right pane double click on allow logon through terminal services and here it is showing administrators that's why administrators has the access for the remote desktop connection and add user or group and have created test group so click on check names now I got the test group okay apply okay and also please come to Denny logon through terminal services and here make sure that the remote desktop users group is not listed then click ok now close the local security settings again come to the client system try to connect change the username enter the password ok now we have successfully connected with the server remotely and here it is showing the server IP address and I have connected with the user1 user account and right click on my computer come to properties and here it is showing the 
Microsoft Windows Server 2003 and come to computer name and it is showing my server full computer name server one dot internet dot com domain is internet dot com okay and here at the top it is showing the connecting bar and to hide this bar click on always show the connection bar it will hide it and when you bring it your mouse it will show it again okay to make it permanent click again on connection bar and after this minimize the remote desktop connection and again open the run command and msdsc and it will open the remote desktop connection come to options and in options it is showing different parameters general display local resources programs experience advanced in general it is showing the computer name and username and also connection settings i will explain about this later and come to display in display it will show the display configuration and color depth so you can choose small or large display screen and come to colors here you can find different colors high color high color 16 bit 24 bit 32 bit so you can choose your color parameter and display the connection bar when I use the full screen and come to local resources it is showing audio settings keyboard combinations and other local devices and resources okay printers clipboard and click on more and it will show the ports and drives other supported plug and play devices you can select if you want to connect them by remote desktop connection okay and after that come to programs whether you want to use only application on remote desktop connection so please check in this box and here type the application name for example notepad dot exe and start in the following folder and here we need to mention the path system 32 okay and after that come to experience and here it is showing connection speed to optimize the performance and you can find in drop down list different varieties of connection speeds modem low speed broadband satellite high speed broadband van lan okay and if you select the lan it will show the desktop background font something and it will allow the following and come to modem it will show only persistent bitmap catching so like this you can choose the your requirement and after that come to advanced and advanced it shows only the server authentication and after that come to programs here i have entered notepad.exe and i have entered the path of this exe file now let's try to connect with this yes user 2 okay and you can find user 2 account directly 
connected with the remote notepad from my server and to disconnect this just click on close again come to client system and open run command msdsc come to options in general please select allow me to save credentials and connect now it will show the user accounts so I have logged with the user to and save the credential that's why it is showing the user to and if you want to use another account just click here and type the username and password and please select remember my credentials okay now I will use user to click on OK oh sorry again disconnect this open run command come to options come to programs and please deselect this again come to general select always ask for credentials enter the password okay terminal server has exceeded the maximum number of followed connection okay so in your system you can log in with the user to also so here in my terminal server connection I have limited the connections okay and after that previously I have created a remote desktop connection let's turn off this if you want to save your current connection settings so just click on save as and show the destination remote desktop file will copy it in dot rdp format and change the file name save okay close this now it has created the rdp file on your desktop so you can use this to connect remotely with the server connect yes now it is directly connected to the server without asking username and password it will use previous saved connections settings to log in with remotely with this i have successfully completed remote desktop connection in windows server 2003 i hope this will help you in your practice if you like this video please click on like button and share this video with your friends and please visit my channel itboard 143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you friends have a nice day